Hey friends and welcome back to This Last Moment. I hope everyone is doing groovily. Today is a completely unplanned, impromptu kind of video because um, I received an email this week that I was very disappointed by and it's just kind of been the catalyst that I needed to sit down and talk about my thoughts on the culture of YouTube, um, what's been happening recently and um, yeah hopefully you guys will be interested as well. So the email that I received this week was one saying that my channel because it is under a thousand subscribers and under I think it's 4,000 hours of view time a month um, is now being demonetized which um, I am really really gutted about. I don't make money from AdSense particularly. I'm a very very small channel so there is hardly any money to my name on my AdSense account but I just really dislike the kind of message that it sends out and um, in a way it kind of feels a little bit less exciting and motivating to be making videos because despite the fact that I don't make money from my AdSense, I do make money but I've never been paid out from, from AdSense, but despite of that I have always tried to carry myself and my channel um, as if I were a big YouTuber. So you'll notice that the music that I use, I always have the artist's permission or it's royalty free music. I'm very careful with what I talk about and what I do here. There's no clickbait titles, there's no controversy, um, there's none of the YouTube stupidness that we've seen recently kind of highlighted. Yeah, I just try and make videos that either I haven't seen other people make or that I think um, add something new to my channel. Um, I really try and make sure that, yeah, I'm doing doing things exactly as if I were a big YouTuber who was making, you know, thousands of pounds a month. It's just really, really frustrating that after having made such a public and um, huge movement to support small channels and to offer YouTube partnership to small people like me, that YouTube has now decided that is not what it wants to do and um, yeah, I just feel I feel really frustrated basically, um, that's the long and the short of it. I watched a video today by the lovely Megan Tongis who talked about this issue and it was very eloquent and um, really beneficial I think to watch so if you are interested in the subject definitely go and give her a watch as well. Um, but Megan was saying that she almost feels or she'd seen it said that it's like small ch YouTube channels are being punished for the actions of bigger channels. So, um, as I'm sure everyone knows by now, um, the one of the biggest YouTube channels there is, Logan Paul, um, recently made a disgusting video where he um, went to the suicide forest in Japan and he filmed a dead body and laughed and was just really appalling and I just feel incredibly fed up that that video was put onto YouTube's trending page but smaller YouTubers don't get a look in even though we are doing things exactly above board exactly as we should be um, and that as far as I know there have been no repercussions other than um, I think the demonetization I hope of that video um, which I think has been taken down anyway so that would be irrelevant but there don't seem to have been any public repercussions about what Logan Paul did and um, and yet here we are with small channels being punished instead and yeah it's just making YouTube not as exciting and as enjoyable and brilliant as I feel like it used to be. I know that it's tempting to look at anything with nostalgic eyes and say, oh my god, it was so much better back in the day. Um, but I think it's really important to remember that YouTube is one of the few social media channels that in studies they have found does not affect people's mo mood in a negative way. So Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, studies have shown if you ask a person how they feel before they go onto those sites and how they feel afterwards, 
they nearly always say that they feel worse, whereas um, studies have shown that YouTube does the exact opposite. Um, it brings people up, which is a really powerful thing. And um, yeah, I just hate to think that this move would deter smaller channels from carrying on what they've been doing already or from even starting in the first place. Um, I just think it would be so powerful to see YouTube do something that welcomes those channels and that puts emphasis on small videos um, or small followings and celebrates the those channels that kind of hark back to the older days of YouTube when it was about creativity and originality and not necessarily things that do well on a search but are original and fun. Um, whereas now, unless you're doing clickbaity titles and kind of copying what's already out there, it's really, really difficult to get exposure and to gain a following. And equally, if you're not doing daily videos or several videos a week, it's so hard to get yourself out there and get better known. So, yeah, it's just safe to say that I am a little bit fed up, I genuinely considered being like, right, why am I putting my time and my energy into something that genuinely isn't going to pay me any money now? Because much as I would love to be like, well I'll get to my thousand subscribers by the end of the year, woo that would be amazing, it's just not going to happen. And yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of this recent development, but um, I would love to know if you guys share my frustration, if you're a small channel as well, um, and what maybe what would be nice for YouTube to do to kind of make up for all the, the craziness that's gone on recently. So um, I'm going to wrap things up here. Please do think about subscribing. I say it at the end of every video but I really mean it this time because I would love to feel that it's worth carrying on on YouTube and that would make such a difference. Um, but thank you for watching, take care and I will see you again.